Hello, and welcome back to some more exploration in Unworthy. We've just discovered a secret under some statues, which I found particularly clever. Still don't know what to do in this room. It feels like there must be a way of getting rid of this chunk here. Um, it's not burnable, is it? No, it is not. Uh, is it... It's not slammable either. I, I just don't know. I don't know on that one. Uh, uh, unless we get some kind of ability to make platforms for ourselves. So slow. Right, I remember that. There was a thing in there. Yeah, don't don't really know on that one. And this, the door over here. Is locked from the other side, if I remember correctly. Unless we've got a key for it. No, it opens from the other side. Let's uh, I honestly feel, in a way, this go? Solver's stone. So there's a ladder there. But there was no need to use it to get up there.
Yeah, if, if the bow was... was speedier on the draw. Uh, this was the... death room. That's where we got equality from. Was through here was this father Amandil's room? Yeah. See, I'm looking out now for any statues and stuff. Oh, we've passed a few. Um, and I was saying, I think, in, in a previous video, that it, it kind of doesn't feel like much use has been made of the hammer. See, where does that connect up to? I feel like it must connect up to something over here as opposed to something from over there. Or, or maybe it's just another room, but... But that doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Have you got anything... No. Oh, shoot. Didn't it actually mean to do that? I'm kind of intrigued as to whether there are, there are a variety of different bonuses going on there. But because of how Dark Souls works, I don't really want to try it. Um, 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 um.
yeah, I, I kind of feel like I'm putting off almost the fact that I think I'm just going to have to... I don't think that 2442. I don't think these even give much in the way of XP. I can roll through those, I don't need to attack them. So those give 30 XP. Right, so this was our main... Let's have a little look-see around. A throat of despair. Those don't count as platforms. Right, so. Oh, damn it, there was a drop there. Nope. Another thing I need to watch out for is um, bells. Bells that I can ring with the bow. I wish there was a way that you could... Um, Increase your cooldown on, or decrease the cooldown rather, of the block parry thing. I think that would be quite nice, mechanically. I know there are uh, items that you can use to reset the cooldowns. Very uh, chunky sound effects. Oop. Right, this is where we found. Rune hidden in that. Nope.
yeah, that little crunch sound uh, is really nice. No point going back to Thornvale. There's nothing... At least as far as I know, there's nothing left for us there. Ah! Burn damage does so much as well. So some hurts. Bone darts. Getting quite a few of those now. Is there a cap? Yeah, that the essence of Altus is the thing that uh, refreshes your cooldown. But they're they're one. Oh. Three keys. Three. What was down here? Oh! Speaking of... Bells. <laughs> oh! Oh, well, now that is a turn up. So it increases sin again by 20%. Well, I may as well keep that on. That's very interesting indeed. 154 deaths. Hmm. I'm assuming there was an achievement. Um, yes. Clever little bell. Uh, I'm assuming there was an achievement for, like, completing the game with no deaths or something ridiculous like that. Um, the only way, the only way I will be able to do that is with something like Cheat Engine. Unworthy. Uh, oh, I've just thought. I'm assuming... Hmm, it wouldn't put my soul's... My sin, rather, down in toxic water, would it? So as soon as your toxicity meter uh, hits cap, you die by the look of it. Oh, shit, it has. Darn. Darn, I say. I'm wondering if those are there just for... Hmm. 
Oh well. At the moment, it's not really sin that I'm uh, particularly worried or bothered about. It's the... It's the XP that is in silly short supply. Die. Also, we've now got 20% extra sin from everything, so... Um... I wonder if there's a rune that increases your XP. Oh, we hadn't killed one of those before. Probably because... I think the last time we came here... They were really nasty. This guy is super powered. Oh shit. We got an Estus flask from him. What was that? I, I wonder, was that permanent or? Just quickly nip to the next bonfire. We had four before. Will this bring us up to five? It will. You can't see the look on my face, uh, but it, it's that kind of slack jawed. Oh. Look, okay, so that is very, very interesting indeed, and actually um, is a, a good indication of how the game likes mixing things up. It also gives slightly more purpose to that big room um, where there didn't seem to be anything in it to do. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. See, I don't know how many of these uh, soul flame essences there are. It's got a, a, a double digit number down the bottom, so I'd assume that there's more than nine. But you're near no. Oh. Oh. 
so in that other place where we couldn't find the heart where was it it was over there wasn't it It could be that when I was just randomly shooting at the wall. I'm going to have to go and check it now. It could be that when I was shooting at the wall that I wasn't shooting at the right place. Uh... Do, do learning new things and our sins creeping up quite nicely already but no I don't want to go all the way up la 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 Let me stop. Yeah, that was it. So I figured out how to get that heart, which is good. Got to smash the hammer. Um, now, where do we want to go next? The next place I want to go.
Right, that's where we found our first soul essence upgrade. This is where we fought the boss. And to the left here, there was a guy. Guy in a cell. Who we still can't do anything with. Smash. Okay, so we've opened that up now, the hearth, anything to say, no, any little bells or anything in here to ring? Guess not. So there wasn't much up here. That was where the uh, the what's it rune was, the R rune. I hear you. Top right hand corner of there. Let me just make a note of that on my map. secret place Spire entrance. I don't think a sinner's banquets. What 
What was that? It doesn't actually tell you what you get the achievements for. It just says you got an achievement. Uh, I'm assuming it's something to do with the number of uh, hearts you've had. That was number five, I think. Where are we? Hammer's just too freaking slow. I'd really want to like the hammer. I, I think a lot of people have been using the hammer, but uh But it is not for me. Why haven't I picked that up before? See, have I not done this bit? Yeah, having some kind of weapon toggle. I feel like I need to hit all the floor now. Venerable Spire. Oops. Yeah, I must. Mm, I don't know. I, I must have done this bit before. Level forty. Should be a kiln through here. Yeah. Let's head upwards. Up, 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 up and away. Oh, joy. Good work.
I'm so bad at avoiding those. I don't know why. Ah, now, if I remember correctly, there's going to be a guy on this lift. Yeah. was the shortcut that took us down across those broken chandeliers. I know this. And... It would be nice. Ouch. Oh, for God's sake. Having two ridiculously mobile enemies at the same time is one of the things that I've been saying this game likes doing and really shouldn't. There's no way in a game with a limited stamina bar that you can avoid them. Now I need to go and get my souls. Screw you and die. Right. What I wanted to do... No? Nothing here? That's a little disappointing. not. I thought there might be uh, something hidden there, but... Sadly not. Right, now over here... We couldn't go this way, if I remember correctly, because I think the door's broken. Yeah, it opens from the other side. So I have no idea how we are supposed to get to that.
I'm going to assume it's it's some kind of switch somewhere. Alright, this is taking us back up to the Godless Chapel, I believe. Weird, weird. Godless Shrine. That was the one. Um. Yeah, it, it, it does strike me that the bow should be the weapon of choice for a lot of things. That just goes straight through people. Oh, mm. and that's why I'm getting frustrated. The bow mechanics are just no good, especially considering how. how necessary they seem to be. They are just vastly superior to the melee weapons. And that's a problem.
as is that mechanic. I think actually what the the teleport arrow should have is just a ground targeting reticule and you just choose where you want to end up. I think that would be the the best bet. Oh no, that's not the button I wanted to press. God damn it. That just went straight through him! Again? It's just too, too slow and inaccurate. And I don't think giving us more accuracy would significantly decrease the difficulty of the game. I'm going. See, it's so much easier with the bow. I've had to swap the keyboard and mouse controls for this. Just see how, how much easier it is when you've got a ranged attack.
it, it would be nice though if maybe a fifth of the time it didn't just go straight through the enemies. Oh, I've got no... No Estus now. Right, what's up here? <gasps> A kill! Oh, and an NPC. And a gate that opens from the other side, because of course it does. Ah, have you come to pray? The time for prayer is no longer upon us. <laughs> Our prayers were answered long ago. We communed with the gods above, only to bring out the devils within. I'm afraid prayer now falls on deaf ears. Once they were heard, but now they are not. In turn, I have stopped talking. I have stopped listening. Perhaps you may be interested in some of my belongings. I am not. Interesting, so this guy also sells, this is Julius, uh, he sells uh, XP. Safe journey. Okay, this is good. We, we desperately needed... Opens from the side. Yeah, of course it does. So we've still got to go uh, around there. But I feel like a chunk of progress has been made. Thank God for that. Special power. Special activate. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when there's more, and drop me a follow over at Twitch so you know when I go live. The support is very much appreciated. Until next time, toodle pip.